Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the ocean and to get us started I created our very own little small ocean container here at home and I have my sand, I have my water, I added a little bit of salt because oceans are made up of salt water, I add a little bit of food, food coloring blue to make it look a little bit more like the ocean. So to get us started, you can see the sun shining in just like when we're outside at the ocean. It keeps it very light on the surface, a little bit darker underneath the water and very dark on the ocean floor. So let's get started with adding our ocean life here. I'm gonna start with plants. This is just a green plant, something like seaweed that's in our ocean. There are lots and lots of different types of plants within uh, different oceans. Next, I'm going to add some rocks, sea rocks. So you can look at those closely. We're gonna add those in, maybe one over there, one here. The next thing I'm going to add is going to be a fish. And he's a popular one, this one, it's Nemo. So fish have gills that they breathe out of um, and they can stay underwater the entire time. So I'm gonna add Nemo to our ocean and hopefully he'll swim away. Next, I'm going to add our mammals, which is our dolphin and our whale. And mammals are different in that they need to come up to breathe air. So you can see that they have their air holes here. And one other thing with mammals, um, such as the dolphin and the whale, is that they have the females have glands that they can feed their babies. So I'm going to add our dolphin and our whale into our ocean. We'll put them right there. Next, I'm going to add the shark. So the shark, you can see he has his fins, he's got sharp teeth in here. But what an interesting fact, fact about the shark is, the bottom of sharks are white and the top is dark. So if a shark is swimming at the top, closer to the top of the water and a fish looks up, he's camouflaged because he looks like he's just the top light part of the water. But if he's down on the bottom and they look down, he blends right in with the ocean floor. So we're gonna take this shark, we're gonna take this guy, and we're gonna put him way out over here. Next, I'm going to add my turtle. Turtles are a reptile. They have their shells that helps protect them from predators. And another um, way that they protect themselves from predators is that they can take their head and tuck it right inside the shell and turtles grow with their same shell throughout their entire lives. So this little guy, we're gonna go over here. Oh, and one more thing about turtles being reptiles. They need, uh, they breathe the air and they lay their eggs on the sand over here. Okay, then we're going to add a giant crab. He's really big, this is the only one I have, but this is a crustacean. He has joints in his legs and arms. He's got two antennas and he's got these little pinchers. So we're gonna add the crabs right there. Another final one is an octopus. Octopus has eight legs and he squirts out ink to help protect himself from predators. We're gonna put him way out there. So, the final thing I'm going to add, because I love to do this when I go to the ocean, is collect shells, which are also called mollusks. And you can find them in the water. You can find them up on the beach. And I'm gonna leave mine around here. So if someone goes for a little walk, they can collect my shells. So remember that this is just a very small container for a very small ocean and beach. So all these animals are right on top of each other, but in a real ocean, they'd be really spread out. So I hope you enjoyed our trip to the ocean today, maybe the beach, and I hope you have fun when you guys go visit the beach.